we often get the question, hey, I got my Merklin layout and I want to make it even larger. Does that mean I need to add a booster so I can control my trains? And the answer is no, not necessarily. The requirement for a booster depends on how many locomotives are running at the same time on your layout. So in this example, we have a nice large size layout. And we have it powered by a mobile station setup. It could also be a central station. And then there's one power feed to the track. The problem is that with every piece of track, every connection, the further you go away from this power feed, you're actually losing a little bit of power. So by the time you get to the opposite side of the track, you may have actually lost quite a bit of power. So the opposite side of your layout does not get enough power. And that's not because the mobile station can't generate enough power. It's because you cannot get it there. So it's not a power generating problem but a power supply problem. Luckily, this can easily be resolved by adding additional feeder wires to your layout. The easiest way to do this is to use the Merklin 74042 wire set. They're about six feet long and they simply clip into your C track close to where your initial feeder track is. And then you connect the other end to an area further away on your layout like I did here in this example. Running just the one extra feeder on your large layout will already be helpful, but since this is cheap and relatively easy to do, I advise you to use several feeder points like I did here in this next example. There are of course several ways that you can run these extra feeder wires. Another option would be to connect your mobile station directly to two of the Merklin distribution blocks, the 72090s, one for your brown wire and one for your red wire. And from those two distribution strips, run your feeder wires to several areas of your layout. Running these extra feeders onto the several areas of our layout assures that we have good power going to all portions of the layout. And when the amount of locomotives that you run simultaneously does not exceed the power supply, the power capacity of your controller, you will not need a booster. But as time goes by, you're shopping on AJC kits, you see all these locomotives that you need, and your collection grows, and the amount of locomotives that you are running on your layout grows. The first logical step to upgrade is to increase your power capacity. And this is done by buying the central station. The central station has another advantage, and that is the interface. It is much easier to control multiple locomotives at the same time with the central station. Your mobile station can continue to be used. It connects to the central station and becomes a handy secondary controller. If your collection continues to grow and the amount of locomotives that you want to run simultaneously continues to grow, it is time to start thinking about a booster. And for a booster, you will have to divide your layout in power consumption areas. This image taken out of the Merklin instruction manual for the booster shows you how you could divide your layout in different power consumption areas. Essentially what you are trying to do is divide your layout so that each portion, each consumption area will have several of your locomotives at any given time. This way the load of the locomotives is divided between the central station and your booster. And in our layout example, I decided to split the layout like this. The three orange lines show where I made the separation between the two power consumption areas. This is simply done with Merklin C-Track by insulating the center rail only. And for that, you use those 74030 insulators that you click on the connectors between the track. As you can see, we now added the booster 6175 and an additional power supply. We have two areas. The green area is powered by the central station through a connector directly to the track and feeder three. And the booster is connected to feeder number one and feeder number two indicated by the pink area of your layout. 
So now we have two power consumption areas, both with a good supply and both with a good capacity. Connecting a booster is very straightforward. Remember to have all the power off before you make any of the connections. The booster hooks up directly to the central station. The red and brown wires connect to your feeders, your feeder track. And then the power supply, we use the 645, the 60045, connects straight to your booster. So with this video, you have learned that size does not matter when it comes to determining if you need a booster for your layout. Large layouts are helped with additional feeder points, which assure that your power is distributed among the track evenly. When you start to run more locomotives than your mobile station can handle, it is time to upgrade to a central station. When you start to exceed the capacity of the central station, you will need a booster. When you do add a booster to your layout, you have to think about the power consumption areas of your layout and divide your layout accordingly. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. See you next time.